All right, Kelly, thank you so much. You know, all season long, we've been working on collecting toys for the Marine Corps, for the Toys for Tots program. And joining us this morning, we have some Marines who are not only here to talk about it in studio, but we've also got some uh, pickups going on in our lobby this morning. We've had our box out there. Sergeant Dennis Bowers, you're here with us this morning to talk about the importance. What kind of year are you seeing so far? Uh, this year we started out pretty slow, but okay. um, <clears throat> due to uh, some issues we had in the years past with, you know, wrongdoings. Uh, however, we're starting to recover and we're mm -hmm. starting to get more toys. Um, but just want people to know that, you know, there are people that, you know, do go about this wrong way, but it is very beneficial for those that go about this the right way and uh, help us get these toys to these children. Oh, absolutely. So we're watching Corporal D'Antonio Johnson. He's here with you this morning and he's loading them up in the back of the truck. We had a lot of toys uh, out front in our lobby. Some of our viewers mm -hmm. dropped them off. We actually had a guy this morning, Chris Mullis, dropped off some toys for you guys. Uh, that is awesome. Uh, you know, like I said last year, uh, every toy counts yeah. and every penny counts. Um, a lot of people, you know, don't realize the the amount of poverty we have in, in, just in Nashville. And right the here in areas. our own backyard, really. Um, yeah. So, mm -hmm. and uh, we did the uh, uh, CMA event, um, and, and that was, you know, with uh, uh, Michael W. Smith and mm -hmm. uh, Delaney Walker, and, and that right there, I think that alerted a lot of people. You know, if, if people in that level are willing to help, you know the everyday people, you know, also. Well, and that it's that. worthwhile, really. You know, there's so many kids who won't have a good Christmas, uh, you know, mm -hmm. for really things that are beyond their control. You know, it's not their fault if these little kids can't have a Christmas. So mm -hmm. we're so glad to see this morning. Uh, these are just some of the toys that you all have dropped off here. We've been raising them as well. Now, even though you guys are picking up our toys today, mm -hmm. um, so we're done collecting toys here, but you're not done. No, we're not done. Um, we will be done uh, after, ne after next Sunday. We'll be doing the Titans game. So if there's anyone who still wants to donate, they can still bring them to the Titans game. Even if you're not going to the game, mm -hmm. you can always still drop a toy off. Very good. Now, I want to ask you, are you from Nashville, by the, by the way? Born and raised in Nashville. Born and raised in Nashville. So how does this make you feel to not only do what you do, um, but to be a part of this and giving back to your own community? Uh, it's an amazing feeling for me. Yeah. Um, you know, I was a Toys for Tots recipient myself as a kid. So... You know, me being able to do this and give back is, is just an awesome feeling. Beyond serving my country, mm -hmm. you know, that that's a good thing also. But just being there for children that need it and, and yeah. putting a, a bright smile on their face on Christmas morning that they normally wouldn't have is just awesome feeling for me. I love it. I love the work that you're doing. If you missed our toy drive here, by the way, you can check them out. The Titans game this Sunday, you said. Yes. All right, drop them off. Make sure you make a difference in a kid's life. Thanks so much for coming in, Sergeant. Thank you for having Thank me. You too.